Welcome to Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas. I'm Doug, and today we're gonna make a delicious breaded lemon chicken with fettuccine, so stay tuned. Now, this is a simple dish. Uh, you can make this during the week, on the weekend. It's just, it goes pretty quickly and it's simple and it's delicious. So you definitely wanna to try to make it. So what are you gonna need? Well, I have some chicken here and this is boneless, skinless chicken. Now you can use chicken breasts for this or I'm using these chicken strips, that's fine. I'm going to season my chicken first and I season mine with salt and pepper, Italian seasoning, Hungarian uh, sweet paprika. Uh, if you wanna leave this out, you can. Um, garlic powder, onion powder, and that's really it. That's all I use for my chicken. Then I have some flour here because we're gonna bread it. I have panko crispy breadcrumbs. I forgot to buy the Italian one. So what I'm gonna do is I have the regular breadcrumbs Italian style. I'm just gonna mix it. And um, real easy, you just Add some to a plate, and you might have to refill it, depends. And then I'm just gonna mix it with the Italian one, just like that. And I'm gonna start to uh, season my chicken. Now you're also gonna need one or two eggs because we're breading our chicken. So let me crack my egg. I'm just gonna start out with two. Getting the fork here, and I'm just gonna beat the egg like this with the fork. Keep that fork there. Let me put this to the side, and now I'm gonna start to season my chicken. So when you season your chicken, I always like to do both sides of the chicken. So let me get a plate. And I'm just gonna season it with salt and pepper. Flip it over, you wanna do both sides. I'm boiling some water back there for my pasta making fettuccine noodles. Using onion powder and garlic powder. I'm just very informally seasoning my chicken. This is the Hungarian sweet paprika. This is the Zeged brand. I always talk about the Zeged brand. That's my favorite. It's the kind my mom always used. So I just continued her legacy and continued using the Zeged brand. And I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning too. Just sprinkle it all on. Okay. Once that is done, we're gonna flour it and then we're gonna add it to the egg and then to the breadcrumbs. Right now I'm gonna stir my pasta. Okay, so I have my chicken here and I'm just going to coat it in the flour, add it to my egg. When I add it to the egg, I like to do it like one at a time. You do wanna kind of shake off the excess flour too. You don't wanna to leave too much flour on. Very easy, nothing hard. The last one. Okay. Now I have my 
chicken in my egg mixture here. If you wanted to add a little milk to that, you could. I Usually I don't, sometimes I do, but it's up to you. Usually my mom used to add milk to it just to make the egg last. And then I usually do like two chicken strips at a time, coating it with the breadcrumbs. Just gonna put it back on this plate over here. I'm gonna add my next. So you just wanna keep doing that and then coating it with the breadcrumbs. All right, so I'm gonna continue making my chicken and then we're gonna start cooking them up. Okay, one thing you wanna do with your pasta, you wanna make sure that you add some salt to your pasta. And this has another couple of minutes to go. Give it a nice stir. You wanna stir it every so often, but these fettuccine noodles look so good. Yum. So in my pan here, I'm adding some extra virgin olive oil, probably about two tablespoons. You just wanna make sure that the base is covered. You don't wanna to add too much oil, but just that the base is covered and just a little bit more. So that looks really good. I'm gonna heat up my oil real quick. Okay, so my oil is warming up. I'm gonna add approximately a teaspoon of minced garlic. We got minced garlic here and I'm just going to stir that into the olive oil. Make sure the flame is on low now. Low to medium is good. You don't wanna burn your garlic. You just wanna get them dancing a little bit. You want them sizzling just a bit. All right, now I'm gonna add my chicken. So I'm gonna let that cook. Remember, low to medium heat. And you wanna make sure that the, um, you're gonna cook your chicken for approximately four to five minutes on each side. So total of maybe about 10 minutes. Now while my chicken is cooking back there, I got my lemon squeezer here. And I really love this lemon squeezer. It works really well. And I cut my lemon in half. And now I'm just going to get the juice. And remember, you're gonna use the juice of both lemons, but we do wanna use uh, the zest on one lemon. zester here. I'm going to do the zest of one lemon. And this is such a great meal to make for the summertime with lemon. It's so fresh. It's so... Lemon just makes me smile. I don't know about you guys, but I love lemon. I love anything with lemon. Lemon cakes, lemon bars. <laughs> Lemon chicken. Anything with lemon. Just puts a smile on my face. Okay, so that looks good. I'm gonna check on my chicken now. Okay, it's been about four minutes checking on my chicken. And you can see, yeah, that's looking really good. Flipping it over. That's the color you want. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the heat just a little bit, and we're gonna cook this for another five to six minutes. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Just checking on my chicken here. Looks good. Gonna give it another minute or two more. 
Okay, my chicken is ready to take out. It looks good. So, this is on a low heat, and I'm using one full stick of butter. Now, I'm gonna leave all those drippings in there, that's okay, you don't have to wipe it out. But we're gonna melt our butter in the drippings with the leftover oil. Now this is gonna be our sauce, so that's why we're using one stick of butter. So it's gonna be the butter and the lemon juice. It's gonna be our sauce. Once the butter is all completely melted, then we're going to add the lemon juice, a little salt and pepper, pasta, and then we'll add just a little bit of cheese, the lemon zest, and maybe a little garlic powder. All right, so that's almost done. Let me get my lemon juice. Remember, this is the lemon juice of two large lemons. Add a little salt and pepper. The salt and pepper is really to taste. If you find well, you want more salt or more pepper, that's fine. And just add it. Okay, nice. Heat that up just a little bit. Nice, all right. Look at that. I'm gonna use my favorite kitchen tool, which are the tongs. And I'm just going to Coat all that fettuccine noodles with that yummy sauce. You want to make sure every noodle gets some of that sauce. So use your tongs. Really toss it around in there. Good. I'm gonna add a little garlic powder, a little bit more pepper, give it another couple of tosses. Oh, now we're gonna plate it. Okay, hey, so this is how I like to plate it. I'm gonna get my pasta first. Make sure I get some of that sauce. Look at that, mmm, yum. And I'm gonna add maybe, um, let's see here. I'll just do this nice big one right here. Maybe a smaller one like that. Mmm, little bit of the sauce, just drizzle it over my chicken, just a little bit. Yum. I'm gonna sprinkle with some Parmesan and Italian mixed cheeses, like that. And the lemon zest. Just add some, wow, add some lemon to that. And look how beautiful that plate looks. I cannot wait to take a bite. Okay, so now for our taste test. I cannot wait. Looks so yummy.
the lemon zest right on top. Put the cheese. The chicken is perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, you have to try my recipe. It's so good. Breaded lemon chicken. Can't go wrong. Thank you so much for joining us on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas today. Remember, if you want that homey vibe, you need to subscribe. And please give this video a like. Until next time, my friends, happy healthy living. Bye-bye. I'm gonna go back to my chicken. Yum.